All right, so this is a breakaway situation. This is a tiny, um, sort of like a quarantine tank. It, it is a quarantine tank with purple tank and with uh, a sail, uh, Soho, let's say sail fin. Now, the one thing I always work on is, even in the quarantine tanks, is breakaway space, even away from me. So they're hidden away from me there and they're hidden away from me over there. And there's three breakaway points here. One, two, going through that tunnel bit here. Three up, three at the back around there. You could say there's four going around there's a whole circle. That's a whole area for a breakaway. Gap, so you've got a gap here. Big space, another breakaway area. No, pardon me. Now there's a breakaway that goes underneath, which they use quite a fair bit. There's a breakaway going over. There's a breakaway going through that gap there. And there's a breakaway coming from through there. You'll see now that there you go. A little bit of aggression, which is very rare to be honest. But breakaway, see what I mean? This, the eyesight's gone. So the, the consistency of seeing that fish is completely gone. You know, like a quick one demonstration up here is everything up here I've done is all breakaway. So breakaway space from here to here, going back all the way through to the back over down there. So where's my finger? All the way back down there. All right, so then all of a sudden there's a breakaway space all the way through here from the front going all the way for the back. Now there's breakaways, there's a million here. I'm sorry, there's just too much to talk about here, but there's so many breakaway points here that there will never be any aggression in this area. And if there is, they can get away from it. Um, same goes for here, breakaway point straight through here. Could have a fish swimming just here, like doing its own little thing and then breakaway straight through there and it's gone. You, you won't even see where it's gone to. Do you know what I mean? As soon as you go through there, you, you're lost into your crystal mazes. A lot of you have called it crystal maze over anyway. It has changed since I've last shown this actually. Um, but like, there's no breakaway points here. Breakaway one, two, three, four. There's uh, another one around this way. Five through here, so you can cut through six. Not a whole bit. Seven, eight, nine, depending on the size as well. They're all different sizes. Look at that, there you go. There's all different sizes for different sizes of fish. I mean, yeah, I've got the benefit of having four foot across here, but even if I had two foot, which I used to have on my five foot tank, I used to be able to keep around about nine or 10 tanks inside there, just because everything I ever did was always breakaway space, breakaway space, breakaway space. And I learned that from David Saxby himself, because I used to work with the guy, well, I used to work for him, he used to be my boss. Um, and that's how I learned how to make breakaway spaces in, in his tank, which then I did for my own. There we go. So I mean, big massive long runway down there as well. Obviously you don't have a plenty on the back of your tank. Um, but yeah, unless you're, you're sticking them on that, which is a, a kind of a new thing everyone sticks on rock now, which is kind of cool, but I'm not doing it on this. Too bloody heavy. But yeah, that's basically breakaways. Breakaways is just give that eyesight a chance to lose that fish's aggression on that one fish. It might go on to another one, which then that can do the same thing and it's gone. And that's how all of a sudden you're dispersing the, the aggression of the clown, because he's like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? And he'll, he'll be interested in just nipping the rocks for, for algae or, what, or whatever, you know? Um, but like, again, that's the most basic setup. It's just literally a very small <laughs> example. That's a very confined area for a large purple tank and a soul hall. But again, I'm about to block them off. Obviously they're butterflies and the dickheads, but, uh, about the blue well, they're not the dickheads actually these two are the dickheads on them poor little buggers um but yeah that's basically it that's all you have to do for breakaway space i've got it in here as well breakaway space so there's a breakaway point over there coming around through into here there's like four or five gaps in here there's actually a clown no not clown tank um uh convict tang's home his home his is at the back you know up here breakaway space straight over there Straight over here, straight into a pipe. Yeah, hello, mate. And then in this tank, again, breakaway one, breakaway two, breakaway three, breakaway four. There's no one down there, five. And there's just literally eyesight's gone. It stops the aggression. There is aggression when they, they're stood up together. Don't get me wrong, but then they hit the breakaway points and they're gone. There's no aggression whatsoever. Oh, he's out. Hello, fella. Yeah, hello. So that, that's all, that all is breakaway points. It literally is just that. Anyway, hopefully I've, I've, I've 
shown what breakaway points are. I might put this on YouTube to be honest. Um, just to, to explain to him why I create a thing called breakaway points to stop that aggression. So hopefully, within two weeks, we see fish in there and you'll see what I mean, why there won't be any aggression whatsoever. That's why I get away with uh, a nascent powder. You know, I've got three tangs in there. You wouldn't know it, I've got three tangs, but again, one's hiding in one of the breakaway points. It's a, it's a cold tang somewhere, wherever he's gone. He's so shy, oh there he is. He's so shy, he's in, he's in this tube. In this tube, is it? There he is, he's straight in the middle of there. You just see his tail. You know, so it's literally all breakaway points. Oh, bloody hell, I'm knocking anything over. It's literally all breakaway points, guys. No, you can't see that. Any aggression gets formed, there's just... Oh yeah, these are pulled outwards as well. They're not at that, actually at the back over. That adds an extra um, breakaway territory points. Don't know if I can show you very well. Unfortunately, there's quite a big gap behind them. Anyway, I hope I helped. Um, fingers crossed that I have. But again, it's simple to do. It really is so simple to do um, with it all. And if you ever need help, just let us know, mate. I'm, I'm always happy to, to have a look at rock work with people's. Anyway, cheers guys, and cheers uh, to whoever I'm sending this to, I can't remember who I'm sending it to now.